Hello and welcome to The Purple States, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Markets. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it should upon as any form of personal advice. Go Markets does not do a personal scenario, nor a personal financial goals, and therefore none of it should upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. Arizona is the next state to really get into. It's interesting that it still falls into a swing state. It is close, there is no doubt about that, but it is probably the one state out of the seven that is pretty much assured of falling to Trump. If we go back over history, pretty much all the way back till 1992, it has voted Republican until 2020, where it did flip for Biden, but by the tiniest of margins, 0.4 of 1% that it got there, and you can see that on these measurement charts here to give you the percentages of all the different votings all the way back to 2000. You can even go back to the previous to 1992 to see even similar numbers. So Arizona is a Trump state, and I think that needs to be pointed out there. It has got closer, and that's why it still sits inside the purple states. But the margin at the moment sits at about 3% to Trump over Harris. It's got much tighter as time has gone by, particularly as you start to look that Latino voters in the state are very much leaning towards Harris, more so than the rest of the country, and urban areas inside Arizona are also doing that. However, there are two really key things that are playing in Trump's favor. First and foremost, They've never really been one of those states to accept the 2020 election. In fact, if you look at what goes on in the polls inside this area, they are more likely than pretty much anywhere else in the country to believe that the 2020 election was stolen. And they are very strong on this view. The other thing that they're really strong on that really plays into Trump's hands is migration, and particularly border security and illegal immigration from the South. They have a huge, huge issue in their view around border issues at Mexico, and that plays very heavily into Trump's overall numbers. So 11 electoral college votes inside Arizona. The thing about all this though is that it's only 50 to 47 in terms of that percentage numbers, and it was as much as five percentage points at the peak of the Biden scenario before the flip that came inside August. So she has narrowed it down and there is there. And that's why, although it looks like an absolute lock for Trump, there could be some issues. But overall, this is the state of those purple states that's more likely to go to Trump and therefore 11 electoral votes for him that will certainly go a long way to getting him to the Oval Office.